Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of July this year, as I posted, Microsoft had confirmed that they were gradually rolling out the new Bing chat to different web browsers, starting mainly with a Google Chrome for desktop. And as I posted uh, in that video, and back at the end of July, Microsoft was A-B testing the new Bing in Google Chrome with a limited subset of users. And since the end of July, it has become more widely available. But even though it is becoming more widely available in Google Chrome, yeah, we can still see that Microsoft wants you to try the uh, Bing chat in Edge because obviously those are the Microsoft products. But just to let you know that um, in a recent blog post um, on Friday, Microsoft has now confirmed that Bing chat and Bing chat enterprise are now available on Chrome for Windows, Mac, and Linux users. So it's no longer been A-B tested. The new Bing Chat is rolling out and Bing Chat Enterprise is now rolling out and available on Chrome on those three platforms now by default to all users globally. So it is now um, available um, on Google Chrome for desktop. Now in that official blog post um, on Friday, um, Microsoft has said, and I'm quoting, Bing Chat and Bing Chat Enterprise are now supported uh, in the Chrome desktop browser for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Support for other browsers on desktop and mobile is forthcoming. So uh, support for other browsers um, on your desktop and mobile. Um, Bing Chat is on the way to some of those other third-party web browsers. And as I have posted previously, uh, you can now use Bing Chat in Vivaldi. And also Microsoft had confirmed that Bing Chat was uh, coming to the Brave web browser for desktop. And I'll leave those two videos down below uh, if you would be interested. Now, although um, Bing Chat is available now in Google Chrome, it has a couple of limitations. And the first one, as we can see, is you only get um, five responses per session, where in uh, Microsoft Edge, as an example, you get 30. And your character is your characters are, and your count of characters is limited to 2,000. And also, you don't get a chat history like you do over in Microsoft Edge. You get no chat history. So there are still a couple of limitations because obviously, Microsoft wants you to use um, Bing Chat in Microsoft Edge for obvious reasons, but nonetheless, is becoming more widely available. Now, um, some things uh, Bing Chat can do um, in Google Chrome, as an example, it can uh, give you summarized answers and also uh, you can use image creation. So I'm going to ask it to create me an image of an astronaut. And although it has those other limitations where your responses are limited to five um, per session and you have no uh, chat history, as we can see, um, you can use the image creation using um, AR artificial intelligence to ask the chatbot to create you an image. And that'll take a second or two to generate. And there we go. Um, it's created me an image of an astronaut using AR. So, um, although it has limited functionality in some departments, um, you can summarize answers and create images and more using the chatbot now over in Google Chrome. And as mentioned, that's rolling out by default now to all Google Chrome users where you can use Bing Chat in Google Chrome. And as mentioned, um, is on the way to other third-party browsers according to Microsoft. And obviously when that happens and third-party browser support does become more widely available, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.